the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence are 65 73 81 and 89 and then 3.1.1 says uh, determine an expression for the nth term of uh, the sequence we have right uh, we know fully well that for an arithmetic sequence the general expression is given as tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so a is always the first term right so at this point we know that tn is equals to uh, 65 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d and then now let's pay our attention to d d is the common difference right uh, you can find d by saying that uh, t2 minus t1 or you can say that uh, t3 minus t2 as long as you uh, finding the difference between two consecutive terms, right? Uh, basically, we say saying um, Tn minus Tn minus 1, right? So let's take T2 minus T1 and see what we get. So T2 is uh, 73 and then uh, T1 is 65. And then if you find the difference of that, uh, you get 8, right? So now we can say um, Tn is equal to 65 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 8 so tn will be equals to 65 plus n multiplied by 8 that is 8n and then minus 1 multiplied by 8 that is minus 8 so now we have tn is equals to 8n and then 65 minus 8 65 minus 8 is 57 so we're gonna have plus uh, 57 here and then we have our general formula after you find uh, this expression uh, substitute one term and see if you get the right answer for instance put uh, two here and see if you're gonna get 73 right uh, just like that so let's go ahead and do that so t2 will be equals to 8 uh, multiplied by 2 plus 57 right and then that is 16 plus uh, 57 um, 16 plus 50 is 66 plus uh, 7 uh, that will be 73 so indeed our formula is working so now we convince and we can move forward uh, let's do 3.1.2 3.1.2 says let's calculate the value of the term in the uh, 1000th position so we want t 1000 so t 1000 will be equals to 8n plus uh, 57 in place of n we're gonna put a thousand so this will be equals to 8 multiplied by a thousand plus uh, 57 so 8 by a thousand is 8,000 right plus 57 so we have uh, 8 uh, 0 5 uh, 7 and then that's our uh, 1000th term and then 3.1.3 uh, it says let's calculate the sum of the first 1000 terms uh, so the sum is given by n divided by 2 uh, multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so we want uh, s 1000 right the sum of the first 1000 terms so we're going to have a thousand divided by 2 multiplied by 2 um, 2a what is a a is the first term so that is 65 uh, plus n minus 1 so it's a thousand uh, minus 1 multiply by uh, the difference which is 8 right so multiply by 8 and then if you put that in your calculator uh, you're gonna get uh, 4 million uh, 61,000 uh, that seems to be correct. Let's do 3.2. 3.2 says um, an arithmetic and geometric sequence have the same first term, right? The common difference and the common ratio have the same value. The fifth term of the geometric sequence is 80. And then determine the first three terms of the arithmetic sequence. So the first term of the arithmetic and the geometric are the same, right? It's said to be five and then the common difference and the common ratio have the same value so let's do it like this so the difference 
is equals to the common ratio on the geometric right uh, but they're the same so let's just put x let's use x right and then okay let's have uh, the arithmetic and the geometric so for the arithmetic we're gonna have five as the first term right and then the second term will be five plus the common difference and then the third term will be five plus uh 2x and then 5 plus 3x and so on right and then for the geometric series uh, the first term is fine and then the second term we know fully well that the formula is uh ar to the n minus one right so for the second term we're gonna have 5x and then for the third term we have 5x squared we have 5x to the 3 and the fifth term we have 5x to the 4 and so on right and then we are told that uh, the fifth term uh, 5x to the 4 of the geometric sequence is equal to 8 right so now we can say that um, 5x to the 4 is equal to 8 now we can divide both sides by 5, right? You're going to get x to the power of 4 is equals to uh, 16, right? Uh, if we take uh, square roots on both sides, we're going to get x squared is equals to 4. And then if we take square roots again, we get x is equals to 2 or x is equals to minus 2. Now to actually answer our equation, which is to determine the first three terms of the arithmetic sequence, if x is equal to 2, right, if x is equal to 2, then the first term will be 5, uh, the second term will be 5 plus x, right, uh, here it is here, 5 plus x, so the second term will be uh, 7, and then the third term will be 5 plus 2x, so that will be 9, right, so we can have 5, 7, 9 if x is equal to 2. But then if x is equal to minus 2, uh, then the first term will be uh, 5, uh, the second term will be 5 uh, minus 2, 3, and then 5 uh, minus 2 multiplied by 2, uh, that is 1.